at the elementary school and we have the three Canada geese amigos out foraging on the elementary school field. They're not coming over by us so we're not going to get really close and personal with them this morning. And we're gonna head on our way because, uh, yeah, we're out there uh, eating and uh, we've got places to be. Okay, we're at the Blue Jays Northern site and we have worms today. Yay! So two went down. Blue Jays just arrived. Yes, yeah, I'll take those two. Back, okay, same one. You got all of them. Come on. Camera went a little blur. Oh. Okie dokies, we're gonna head on. Sparrows. <laughs> now hop along's uh, secret stash is uh, no longer secret. You've got other ones showing up. That's him in right here. Yeah, that's hop along and his buddies. We got Fluffy and she's here. She actually met up with us at her daytime area. And walk. She took the fence path to get here. We are overcast today. As we are approaching the Alviso Adobe Park entrance, we, this guy flew in, landed on cedar tree at the entrance. It's a red-tailed hawk, and us with overcast skies, that's too bad. Jay's going to try a different location to see if he can get a better shot. I'm staying on him just in case he takes flight. He's not where we normally see him. Okay, the red-tailed hawk that was perched on the cedar at the entrance of Alviso Adobe Park is now on one of the evergreens over on Euridius Ranch Court. Okay, set breakfast table. Overall, it's been a quiet morning in the park, but I did spot this one little cottontail over by the grapevines. Our juvenile mockingbird was very, very late to breakfast. Don't know if he even found the mealworms I put down for him. Did have a brief visit by the quail and something startled them away. 
and quite a few scrub jays in the park today. They were all here grasping peanuts and taking them away. But not much else. Well, we haven't seen CC the cat for quite a while. I just happened to see him slinking in the back way. So I'm going to go put down more treats for him. Okay, we're getting ready to leave the park, but we have a red-tailed hawk that's on the bare branch on the hillside behind the park. No sun yet, still overcast. And he is way up there. Okay, just a slightly better picture with less bushes and trees in the foreground area that can affect the focus. He's still on the bare branch on the hillside behind Alviso Adobe Park. Could be the same uh, red tail that we saw earlier when we were arriving. So surprise, this red tail hawk's in the tree we call the lone tree. And right up there is the bare branch tree. So we've got two red tail hawks in proximity. I would imagine they were a bonded pair. So oh, that's a rare but happy event for us. Okay, up in the redwood, oh, wow. up in the nest tree next that's to the Last similar. Word Ranch, we have 40, this red-tailed hawk. Oh, that's, that's an icon. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a great picture. The Fluffies and she didn't eat all her treats from earlier. You forgot they were there? Okay. Well, they're still there. Oh, that's right. She got startled. Uh, a lady was walking by in, in, in sort of a fast clip, and, and that, that was enough to cause her to go to the fence and then head over to you. Because she was enjoying her treats then. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, fluffers. Okay, at the Blue Jays Northern site. Okay, it's two. There's one more. Once it gets that one down, here we go. There's the third one. <laughs>